Greetings, Poke fans! Michael here, and welcome to Can These Pokemon Breed? A Pokemon quiz show that will test our contestants' knowledge of Pokemon matchmaking. Let's meet our contestants now. Our first one is Wolfie, more widely known as Wolfie VGC. Wolfie, you are a world champion in Pokemon battling, meaning you're an expert in having Pokemon battle against each other. But how would you say your knowledge is of having Pokemon joined together? Yeah, thank you for having me. You know, this is a little known fact, but before I was a Pokemon world champion, I was actually a world champion of love. So I think I'm probably gonna do pretty well today. That is wonderful to hear, Wolfie. And our next contestant is John, more widely known as PM7. John, you and I have made many videos over the years, so I'm sure you have quite the expertise in Pokemon matchmaking, is that correct? What now? What, what are we answering in this show? Those are our contestants today who will be competing for the grand prize, a plushie of Mighty. My new mascot that is available for you all at mnjtvmerch.com linked in the description below, but only for a limited time. I've never seen anything so beautiful in my entire life. I agree. Gentlemen, if you would like to win this Mighty plushie, you win by scoring the most points. There will be different ways to score points as the quiz show goes on, but in round one, I will be listing a pair of Pokemon, and you tell me yes, they can breed, or no, they cannot. You will get one point per correct answer. But if you fall behind here, don't worry too much. There will be higher point earning opportunities as we go on. All right, the first pair of Pokemon in round one is Lickitung and Flaffy. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say it. I think they can breed. On principle, no. Heavens, no. I, I disagree. I think they're both in the field two egg group. I don't think uh, Lickitung frolics through fields, Wolfie. Well, where does it uh, live you, if it's not in the field? It's not in the swamp. I don't know. It's you spend too sky. much time in the battle stadium. You haven't gone out and caught a Lickitung. <laughs> how dare you? I'm. <laughs> how dare and, and Glicky Tongue of all Pokemon? How dare you? <laughs> all right, Wolfie. You said yes, and John, you said no. Are those your final? Final answers. Yes. Final. All right, that is going to be one point for Wolfie. Lickitung and Flaffy can breed because they are both in the monster egg group. Frolicking in the field, yeah. Flaffy is a monster? It's a sheep. Wait, hold on. Don't look anything up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you cheating here, good sir. Ha ha, it is I, Grunty boy, and I need your help. Very well, I suppose we can take a quick commercial break. So I got this home try-on kit from the sponsor of this video, Warby Parker. Warby Parker offers eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams so you can have happier and more stylish eyes. You can shop both online and in stores, and glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. Seems great. Tell me more about this home try-on kit. It's this really cool thing where you can order five pairs of glasses to try on totally for free at home. They'll ship it to you for free, and it includes a free return shipping label. That sounds fantastic. It's really convenient to be able to try on your glasses at home while shopping online. So what's your problem? Oh, there's no problem. I just wanted to try them on with you so I could get your opinion. You are a pillar of style after all. Oh, well, flattery will get you everything. Go ahead. Number one. Yes. Number two. Maybe. Number three. No. Number four. Yes on others, but doesn't fit your vibe. And number five. Best one of all of them. Perfect. Thanks, pal. You are a fountain of wisdom. If you want to try this for yourself, you can try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash mnjtv, linked in the description below. Now I'm off to return this and get my permanent pairs. Ta-ta! Round one, question two, Octillery and Tentacruel. This is, this is a trap. This is a trick question, because they are similar. Uh, opposites attract, not similar, so they are gonna uh, squid away from each other. Uh, no sir, no siree. I also think no here. I, I think I, I, there's like three water egg groups. What do you take us for, fools? Yeah, no way, I'm voting no on this one. All right, you both said no, final answers? Yes. Yes. All right, you are both correct. Octillery is in the Ooh! water one and water two egg group, while Tentacruel is only in water three. I hate egg groups. You are on the wrong show then. <laughs> 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 Round one, question three, Huntail and Audino. Huh? 
I don't think one of those two is even a Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> hun Tail? Uh, what is this you speak of? Hun Tail? I feel like there's no way. I'm going to say no for this one. I, I, this feels like a trick question, and I feel like the answer is yes, but I'm going to say no. Digimon can't breed with Pokemon. It's a no. You're both correct. They cannot. Ooh, you freaked me out. Ooh. That was a curveball. Round one, question four. Drapion and Surskit. Good sir, I don't know how this works. I refuse to find out how it works, but unfortunately I think it's yes. The problem is I also think it's yes. I'm pretty sure there's like a bug egg group. I'm not positive. I'm gonna say yes as well. Yes from both of you, final answers. World champion thinks Drapion's a bug type. I'm really rethinking a lot of things, but I think I'm sticking with my answer. But 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 Scorpy's bug, so I'm not because the the Babby form is it would be in the bug. What did you what did you say? The Babby form, Scorpy? Babby? Yeah, the Babby. Yeah, like like you know, you get pregnant for nine months and then you have a Babby. I apologize. I had a bit of a lapse in brain power there. Anyways. <laughs> You did. Wolfie, you've already <laughs> locked in your final answer. John, what is your final answer? Last time I thought Wolfie was going to go for a bug move. Uh, apparently he forgot bugs existed and then he <laughs> went and 6 0 me. So I'm going to go with him this time because whenever he doesn't know what a bug is, he's right somehow. <laughs> You're both correct. They can breed. They're both in the bug egg group. Yeah, I knew it. I knew Drapion was a bug. All right. Round one, question five. Hitmonlee and Hariyama. Ugh. So there's a human egg group for sure. And I feel mm. like, feels like they should be able to, but I'm gonna say no. I don't know why, but I feel like one of them is in the field and one of them is in the human one. Well, last question brought me up to losing a championship against Wolfie. Hariyama makes me think of losing it to a championship against my good friend, Nick. I'm in a box of emotions, but I'm going with the opposite one. Uh, whatever Wolfie said, nay, I take the other stance. All right, so Wolfie, you said no, and John, you're saying yes. Is that correct? Yay. Yes. That's correct with me. All right. The one who gets the point for this round is John. <laughs> wow. They are both in the human-like egg group. Uh, Hitmon Lee is yeah. male only, though, which means they can only mm. make a baby Makuhita. Babby. 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 Sorry. <laughs> round one, question six. Magmar and Cacnea. Bzzz. No, uh, I've lived among the cacti before, and an evil fire duck would burn them down. Uh, heavens, no. I'm pretty sure Magmar's also in the human egg group, and I don't think Cacnea is, so I'm going to go no. You are both Ooh. incorrect. Magmar and Cacnea are both in the human-like egg group. Ah, Cacnea is not human-like. Round one, question seven. Metagross and Bronzong. I say no. My first thought is no, because one is a spaceship and one is a bell. It doesn't make sense. But if it doesn't make sense, but the Pokemon world doesn't make sense, they make Babby. Yes. The point goes to Wolfie. Both Metagross and Bronzong are genderless, meaning they can mm -hmm. only breed with Ditto. That, there's my VGC knowledge coming into play. I knew it would come in handy at some point. Round one, question eight. Aerodactyl and Charizard. Uh, I have no idea on this one. No, this is easy. Uh, dragons are prehistoric creatures and they would eat knights like Wolfie. And then Aerodactyls from a prehistoric age, and it would also eat Wolfie. I don't want to think about eating Wolfie, so I'm going to say no here. No from Wolfie, yes from John. Final answers? Yep. Yes. The point goes to Wolfie. Aerodactyl is only in the flying egg group, while Charizard is in both monster and dragon. I'm sending one to eat you, Mr. Host Man. <laughs> no! I don't make the biology rules, good sir. I simply test your knowledge of them. Round one, question nine. Delcaddy and Pachirisu. Uh, the old egg group, sure, I'll say yeah. If I flip enough coins, heads will be correct eventually. I'm going yes again. <laughs> you are both correct. Woohoo! <laughs> Elcaddy and Patrice are actually double compatible. They are both in the field and both in the fairy egg groups. The final question of round one, Rillaboom and Ferrothorn. That sounds like it would be painful. <laughs> no, I think this is where I, I drop the uh, the no answer. I, I mean, they're both, they're both grass creatures, but I don't, no babby, no. I'm gonna say yes, because I'm I'm not really, I'm not in a mood where I'm feeling very warm towards Rillaboom, so. 
So for my for my own purposes, I'm gonna say yes. All right, yes from Wolfie, no from John. Correct. No, I'm I'm going I'm going with Wolfie. That man that means he was spited and he lost, and him losing gives me a chance to win in the future. Wait, so are you are you so are you taking my answer? I'm taking your answer. Okay, I want John's I, answer then. This is the ultimate bait and switch. <laughs> I knew he would copy me, so I decided. I thought the John was right the whole time. <laughs> oh no. So I'll go no in that mm. case. Oh, so we well, have a. Wait, what are your final answers? He still probably lost to Rillaboom recently, so I'm going with yes. <laughs> and I'll take no. <laughs> that means the point goes to John. They are both in the ah, plant and group. Double sadness. <laughs> Insult and injury. So the scores after round one are very close. Wolfie with seven and John with six. It's now time for round two. The format of the questions will be the same. But for each correct answer, you'll get two points. Wow. Two is bigger than one. You guys are pillars of wit. Round two, question one, Riolu and Baniri. I'm gonna say no. Easy yes. The two points go to Wolfie. I'm pretty sure Babby Pokemon can't breed. I'm like 90% sure. You are correct. Riolu is technically a baby Pokemon, which I have never understood. Babby, Babby. Babby. it's technically a Babby Pokemon, which I've never understood, <laughs> but it is one. So two points to Wolfie. Round two, question yep. two. Greninja and Dragonite. No, I, I don't think a frog would uh, spend too much time with the mailman in the sky. <laughs> uh, so. I'm tough because I like okay, Dragonite is obviously in the, in the dragon egg group, but it could be it could be in either the flying or the monster egg group, and Greninja could also be in the monster egg group. So I'm gonna say yes because I I feel like there's a monster overlap here. Greninja and Dragonite. The points go to. Wolfie, but not for the Why? reason you thought. They are both in the water one egg group. Why? Because it comes out of a whirlpool in Pokemon Snap. I should have known. Round two, question three, Torchic and Slacking. Uh, I'm going to say yes. My gut was no, because it's so obviously different that you would think no, but then you'd think, well, he's tricking us, so it's yes, but I think you're on a different plane of thinking, Michael. I think you are above that, and you are ready for the switcheroo. So with all of that, I'm predicting your prediction with the prediction of predicting, so what did I say again? You said no, I said yes. That, yep, uh-huh, that's, yeah. The points go to Wolfie. They are both in the field egg group. Round two, question four, execute and sligoo. Ugh. Oh, wait, 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 but you can't spell. Okay, wait, I'm going to blow both your minds. Are you ready? Okay, absolutely not. I'm not ready. You can't spell Sligoo without GG, but you also can't spell execute without GG. So I'm going to say yes. Oh, that's so good. He's so smart. Oh, this is tough because I don't want to steal his, his spotlight and go with him. But he's also uh, smacking my bottom repeatedly. <laughs> and I, I only liked a few of those. That was... <laughs> That was quite the exciting mental image. He says, you know, I was thinking yes in the beginning. So you know what? Maybe he's just agreeing with me. That's how I'll lie to myself. <laughs> you are both incorrect. They cannot. Execute is only in grass and Sligu is only in dragon. Oh. Round two, question five. Blissey and Alcreamy. Oh, I hate both these Pokemon. Oh, yes. Nah, Blissey is in the field egg group. I'm saying no. Wolfie, no. John, yes. Final answers? Yep. Yes. The points go to Wolfie. <laughs> what? I was thinking it because of the fairy group. He literally got it wrong. So, oh my, oh my God. Blissey and Alcreamy are in fact both in the fairy egg group, but both of them are female only. Oh. Uh, why is Alcreamy female only? It's a dessert. Before we move on to the next half of round two, if you want to be in the coolest egg group of all of them, the subscribed to M and J T V egg group, you can subscribe now and turn on notifications. You're going to jail? No, I'm if not. You're not subscribed to M and J T V. That is. <laughs> Anyways, round two, question six: Macargo and Boldor. Oh, this is even worse than Ferrothorn and Rillaboom. I don't like this one. How is this worse than Ferrothorn and Rillaboom? Cause they're rocks. They're rocks. They're both rocks. What Mikey thinks about in his spare time is what he thinks about in his spare time. Stop judging. <laughs> I'm going to say no. I don't like this one. I side with you, Mikey. Don't worry. Yes, I'm with you. Okay. Well, the points go 
to Wolfie. Man, I never support M and J T V. I learned uh, my lesson the tough way today. <laughs> Macargo is only in the amorphous egg group, while Bulldor is only the in the mineral egg group. <laughs> Round two, question seven: Kangaskhan and Agron. Yes, a hundred percent. They can totally. They can totally. Yes, I'm super confident, what? John. So you should. Definitely not copy my answer. It's 100% yes. I was confident of yes, but I've been wrong on every single one. And you've been right, but you're almost never right because you actually know the answer. You're only right when you think wrongly. So you're confident, so it has to be no. Yes from Wolfie, no from John. Final answers? Yep. Yes, sure. The points go to Wolfie. They're both in monster. It's the monster. Wow. Yeah, I knew this one. I knew this one for sure. Oh. Round two, question eight. Poltegeist and Dusclops. Uh, no, because the last one was too good to be true, and this one, it seems too good to be true because they're both spooky boys, but instead it's no, they're they're spooky spooks. I, I actually think this one's no as well. I'm going with John on this one. Oh no, the kiss of death. <laughs> you both get the points. Poltegeist is genderless. Oh! Round two, question nine, Archaeops and Star You. Uh, what? No. 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 No, 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 definitely not. No, 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 no from both of you. I, I'm I'm switching Wolfie's answer to yes, but no for me. It's I, I'm pretty sure Star you is genderless. I'm going to say no. I'm pretty sure Wolfie's answer is yes minus no. <laughs> OK, so you both said no. Final answer. Yes, it's no. That is correct for both of you. Is Star you genderless? It is, it is. and sure. I, I yeah. actually, I, I made a mistake and I put down yes, and then you said it was genderless, and I was like, oh, wait, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wrote it down because both of them are in the water three egg group. For some reason, what? genderless Pokemon have egg groups. Why is Archaeops? You said Archaeops, right? Archaeops is in the water three egg group. That is the single biggest crime that I've heard today. That has to be like a labeling error. The final question of round two, but this is not the final question of the show. So there's still a chance for John to come back. Round two, question 10, Crobat and Decidueye. I know the answer. All right, I'll, I'll, the say, last I'll answer one, first, though. Because uh, I don't know the answer, so I don't want you to think I'm copying you. Uh, okay, so this is tricky because, like, Crobat, obviously, and Decidueye, they're both bird-based. I feel like Decidueye is going to be in the flying egg group or something dumb. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say no because the last answer was supposed to be yes, but he done goofed up, and they were supposed to be so opposite, and it's yes. This one, they're so similar, so it's no. Nothing to do with the Pokemon. I'm trying to get inside the mind of the test maker, which is the worst <laughs> strategy anyone could ever use when taking a test. All right, so yes from Wolfie, no from John. Final answers? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. The points go to Wolfie. They're both in flying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Going into round three, Wolfie has a sizable lead of 25 points to John's 10. However, round three could tip the scales because it is the final round and has a maximum point opportunity equal to both of the rounds before added together. Not that I need that. <laughs> oh, buddy, it's okay. Round three is one question with 10 correct answers. And our contestants will get three points for each correct answer, meaning a total possible maximum of 30 points. Are you gentlemen ready? As I'll ever be. Born ready, born as a babby ready. All right, here is the final question. The undiscovered egg group consists of Pokemon that cannot breed under any circumstances, not even with Ditto. The group is primarily made up of legendary and babby Pokemon, but there are 10 Pokemon that are neither legendary nor baby. Name as many of those as you can, and you may list up to 10. As a bit of a hint, three of the answers are variations of Pokemon species that normally can breed. You have one minute, ready, go. Um. And time's up, gentlemen. Wolfie, would you like to list your answers first? Okay. Uh, number one, Minior. Number two, Ditto? 
question mark? Uh, number three, Stonejourner. Number four, now this is a good one. Unknown, maybe? Is that a legendary? I don't know, maybe. Number five, Komala. It's a Pokemon, so that meets the first criteria, and it's always asleep, so I think it probably can't breed. Uh, I would hope not. Otherwise, Pokemon, you're gonna have some explaining to do. Okay, but here's where the big boys come in. Number six, Ash Greninja. That's a Pokemon, pretty sure it can't breed. Number seven, Eternal Floet, the event Pokemon with Light, that light of Ruin. Probably can't breathe. That's not special. Uh, number eight, Magnezone. Pretty sure this guy can breathe, but I think he shouldn't be able to. Um, number nine, this one might be right. Creogonal. It might be able to breathe, but it might also not have a gender. I don't know. Uh, and number 10, Unfazant, because that thing shouldn't even exist, and I want it to go extinct. <laughs> I agree with you there, buddy. Okay. John, your turn. I wrote my answers on a pink weekly planner cute i just wanted the audience to know first one is rotom if this is if if rotom doesn't count and you're counting rotom as the appliance i'll kill you it, just in case you screwed me on the first one i put zen mode darmanitan i didn't understand what you meant by forms if i'm correct there this one can't breed if that's not what you meant i was confused porygon i was running out of ideas but then i had a second wind and put unknown minior and cryogonal three things wolfie put so they're not going to help me if they're right i put hail form uh cast form to put you in a box all right well, well, well i'm no it was going to be to make you happy oh put me in a box P put me in a box normally has negative connotations well, yeah to force you to give me a point hail yeah that's not how that works but anyways i don't like this guy i wish you washy school formed don't know how these form things work pukamuku and pinchurchin they are pretty similar and i forget they exist constantly all right i have the points tallied the correct list is cosplay Pikachu. I, I thought it was a Pikachu, but I, I couldn't remember what Pikachu it was. Cap Pikachu, Nidorina, and Nido Queen. Which is they one. They can't breed? They cannot. It's really weird. A, a, Nido, huh? a Nido King can breed with a Nidoran female, but not Nidorina or Nido Queen. It's very I odd. I hate that. Yeah. Unknown Battle Bond Greninja. Ash Greninja, I said that. You did. So that earned yeah. you points. Yeah. And then the last four. Wolfie, you might be upset about this. Dracozolt, Arctozolt, Dracovish, and Arctovish. I almost wrote Dracovish just because I liked it, but I thought, I couldn't remember. I, could, I couldn't remember. I thought that you could breed them though. Nope, you, you cannot. They don't let abominations reproduce. <laughs> so with two correct answers from Wolfie, that brings his point total to 31. And with one from John, that brings his to 13. Oh, look at that. Like a little palindrome. Congratulations, <laughs> Wolfie. You are the winner of Can These Pokemon Breed, which means you will be receiving a mighty plush to call your very own. But for those of you who weren't able to compete today, if you want to get your own, mnjtvmerch.com for a very limited time. Linked in the description below. Thank you so much to both of our contestants. And that is all I have for now. Until next time, big events. Ah, gotta catch them all.